as a reception. So no touchdown, Colts settle field goal 17-16. Leftwich with six minutes to go to Jimmy Smith. 25 yards, how good was that? And then they're getting good at the Fourth down, next play, fourth and sixth time. Haggling Jimmy Smith wide one-on-one -on -one coverage. They had the blitz coverage. Jimmy Smith, one of the best at getting behind it. One-on-one -on -one from the corner. Makes it great. Cornelius Bennett, he's got to make a play on this ball. Three inches over his fingers. Poole doesn't make the play. Unbelievable. And a receiver. Well, this will give the quarterback confidence. Throwing it into coverage. Wow. Poole's got to make that play, and Bennett's got to make that play. They got to be the most surprised guys out here. Now, Dan, is Brunel just complete? Obviously, Smith's his number one receiver. We haven't seen McCardell at all. Are they doubling on him, or is he just favor Smith so much we're not seeing Keenan? Well, we've, Keenan's only got one catch, and you would think that a guy that when it came into the game as the uh, leading receiver last year with a 116, which is an incredible number. Take the step, drop the throw. Turns and he's for the end zone. He's got Jimmy Smith comes back into the game. Fourth quarter, Jaguars down 27-21. Johnson to Smith, down the sideline, 28 yards for the touch. Johnson, 200. Playing quarterback, and he does the exact same thing, deep, intermediate, and short. Byron left, which 30 yards to Smith, who caught seven today for 130. 13-6 lead. Byron left, which looked sharp on Sunday. Jimmy Smith caught seven passes for 130 yards. His second quarter touchdown catch with Jack. The temperature didn't affect receiver Jimmy Smith, who hauled in a 31-yard touchdown pass on the fourth play from scrimmage. The quick start gave Jacksonville a seven. Reckon. And he's suing Jack's position. Now, Jimmy Smith, he's back. And what a catch that is. He's fighting through the pass interference. Woo. He's been a really outstanding player for a long time. Berlin, back to pass. Looking down the right sideline. Jimmy Smith has got it. Touchdown. 7-7 of the half. Burline pretty effective in that first half. Third quarter now. Bengals down 10-7. The kick. Mobile. Start for David Carr. They're also without Dominic Davis. And boy, they look that way. Meanwhile, Byron Leftwich, the rookie for Jacksonville, to Jimmy Smith. 32 yards. Two plays later, third and four. Brunel, Jimmy Smith. Touchdown. Seven minutes to go. They make a two-point conversion. Pulled an eight. Central. The Jags have won five in a row on opening day. Mark Brunel, Jimmy Smith. They've done this before. 34 <laughs> yards. Where's the defense, Tom? Well, Jimmy Smith being covered by Dwayne Washington. Dwayne Washington got his body turned inside. Jimmy Smith blew by him. Three Ravens. Mark Brunel to Jimmy Smith. Jimmy Smith continues to him. He gets no pub, but all he does is get in the end zone and have 100 yards. But then Leftwich is intercepted. Then the Jags get the ball again. But watch this play. Jimmy Smith has been a great Woo! receiver for a long, long time. How does he get? One, two, three. Oh. But it's the pylon. That's right. What a great play. Tommy, that's one of the best jobs down the sideline. Oh, by the way, it won the game that we've seen. In the game, he did two and a quarter overtime. But... Third and eight. I have a feeling Jimmy Smith's going to catch a 10-yard pass. Missed two guys. That's one of the end zone. <laughs> Touchdown. Garage. Now Taylor flanks as a receiver to the top of the screen. Brunel going to go for it all. Jimmy Smith down the sideline. Good throw by Mark Brunel. He throws this thing up nice and high and soft. Ty Law on the bump against Jimmy Smith. It's the speed of Jimmy Smith, and he just outruns Ty Law to the football. What happens? Here they are down at the middle, the bottom of the field. Jimmy Smith against Ty Law. Just watch the speed of Jimmy Smith. Look, they're even. 
They're even. The ball's in the air. And now Jimmy Smith turns it on and just gets in front of Ty Law to make the catch. I mean, that was something Ty Law said, about, said to us last night about the Chiefs. And, of course, they were taking dead aim at Mark Brunel and the Jacksonville Jaguars. But Brunel was taking aim at Jimmy Smith. You know what? When Brunel and Smith and Fred Taylor are there, this team can play. Right. Below the loss to Denver. Now they're at the Baltimore Ravens. But, boy, they've owned this team. Mark Brunel, Jimmy Smith, touchdown, 36. Jags come back. First play of the fourth quarter, Mark Brunel, all pro. Jimmy Smith, the ball goes right through Fred Thomas's arms. Smith, the gift grab. Jags tack on two more field goals. Win number seven in Houston. The surging Jaguars took on Seattle and battled back from a 13-7 deficit. Long into the end zone, Jimmy Smith racing down. Smith makes the catch on the carry. Touchdown. Meanwhile, fourth and one. Gambling, Byron Leftwich to Jimmy Smith. Wow, these are the Jets. Yeah, reminiscent of what we used to see, and I'm going to date. Blitz. Brunel under pressure. Puts it up. Adjustment tip. Caught. Jimmy Smith breaks free. Uh, Touchdown. Can you believe that? in NFL history. In a close game, Smith was there when his team needed him most. And it is caught. Jimmy Smith's got it. He's on the run inside the 10. Five. Touchdown. Jimmy Smith. Reister makes the play instead. Jags first down on the 43 to Leftwich. To Jimmy Smith. There he is. Touchdown. Boy, at times Leftwich just can impress once he learns to take care of the ball. 43. Play fake. Brunel, deep, right side for Smith, double coverage, caught. Oh, I think he dropped it. Are they yes, he turn? got it, touchdown. Oh, I thought I saw the ball hit the ground. Smith was unstoppable with 15 receptions. He scored three touchdowns. Coming in at 6-1, and one, playing last year's NFC champion Atlanta Falcons. Game in Atlanta, but Mark Brunel says we're not going to let the home fans get in it because Jimmy Smith, 44 yards, 7 nothing, Jaguar. Mark Brunel matched the effort with three scoring strikes. The ability to catch the ball just added 50 pounds. Two, two touchdowns for a tackle. Byron left with team down 14 nothing. Boy, Jimmy Smith made a circus catch on the sidelines in this game, and he also made this touchdown. He's still going. Brunel goes deep right side, and he's got Jimmy Smith. Smith for the touchdown. They beat Dwayne Starks. Brunel given a lot of time to take aim and fire. Here, a 45-yard catch over Starks. Jacksonville up 10 zip. Thanks. 24-17 Jaguars. Third quarter, first and 10 on the Zinx, 46. Wide open, Jimmy Smith. Nice juggling catch, a monster night for Smith. Now steps up, turns and fires. He's got Jimmy Smith. Good thing to grab on the run down the sideline. Lunches. Now fourth quarter tied at 10. Leftwich, 357. All jet goes long for Smith. Cornerback Tim Wansley pulled up lane. Smith, 10 catches, a buck 36. 39 career, 100 yard game. Jags have been a little bit up, and you know, Jeff Fisher needs some of that to go along with a great play, McNair. Meanwhile, the rookie Byron Leftwich. Jimmy Smith, 49 yards. Jags uh, in. Not to punt, they'll just run it out. Why take a chance and uh, give the ball back to Megan with five seconds remaining? And uh, Brunel scrambling around and will just fire one downfield, firing for the end zone, a jump ball, and it is caught. Touchdown on the deflection, Jimmy Smith. Able to come up with the ball. Let's think back what just happened. Had New England not called timeout, the clock would have run out, and we'd be inside right now talking about the first half. So that backfires on Bill Parcells with Brunel just tossing one up into the end zone. It's a 52-yard pass, and Jimmy Smith 
in his fourth season out of Jackson State, the one-time Dallas Cowboy is able to come up with it, his second touchdown reception of the season. You see all the hands going for it, and Smith able to follow the flight and very fortunate to uh, come up with that ball. It's in this first half, here's another look at it. Everybody get in position. Defensive backs, you see, uh, Hitchcock tried to knock that ball down, and that's really what they should be trying to do. Don't try to catch the ball and intercept it. Knock Nothing before throwing up a prayer of a pass on the final play of the first half. Turn and launch it downfield. And a leaping attempt is made, but it's batted away and into the arms of Jimmy Smith. First man, deepest than the deepest. That's Corwin Brown right there. No one gets behind you. Jets bring three. Jacksonville Jaguars cost them some points, but Tom Coughlin's offense right there, and their coordinator upstairs, Chris Palmer. Everyone's thinking Big Ben. Don't let any Parcells will have some pearls for their boys in the locker room because Otis Smith gets blown by by Jimmy Smith. Look at that concentration to catch that. And Henderson doesn't get over fast enough to help Otis. And Brunel acts like, hey, was there ever a doubt? Otis Smith has given up just one touchdown pass in regular season. That to Marcus Pollard of the Indianapolis Colts. Fire Smith's got to be the 40. Smith inside. There he goes. He's across the field. It's a foot race 40. Oh, Smith 30. Smith 20. Smith 10. 5. Touchdown 65 yards. Jimmy Smith races to the end zone. At 7-7 seven and seven and playing their best. Ties a record. Heward came in after Marino played one series in the third quarter. Meanwhile, Fiedler to Jimmy Smith. It's 70 yards. It's 48 to 7. Later in. Backup quarterback Jay Fiedler orchestrated two more touchdowns as the score would grow absurdly out of Miami's reach. This second score of the day added to the highest point total in Jaguars history. Early third, same score. Mark Brunel, a big number to Jimmy Smith on the short pass. A short pass turns long. Seven, two, yard. Jaguars, 17 to 10 lead. The Ravens gamble on defense, but it doesn't pay off. Well, number 45, Corey Harris here has to make a decision between the player and the ball. He thought he had time to get to the football, dives out in front of it and misses. Once he does that, Jimmy Smith is off to the eight. Very much alive. And scored twice on special teams. The pièce de résistance was a duet with Howard in week 14 against the Broncos. Kickoff, Desmond Howard's got it at the 10, has blockers, 15. Now there's a reverse play. He throws it across the field to Cedric to Jimmy Smith. Jimmy Smith down the sideline. Here he goes, 40. He's got room. He could go. 50, 40, 30. It's a foot race. They're going to catch him. Touchdown Jaguars, 85 yards on the double dip alley-oop reverse play from Desmond Howard to Jimmy Smith. Unreal!